what is going on subscribers and welcome back to the Punkadillon channel. Today we are in the F350 2020 Terminator. This is version 3 from the Renault Buckman and he is currently working on it so it's still in beta. You've probably seen it on the squad channel. It's It's been all over YouTube. I gotta say it's probably one of the most popular trucks out there. I think last time I viewed it, it was probably 20,000 downloads on Mod Hub. So, congrats, Buck. You did an amazing job on this truck. Better than the first version, which was the six foot. It's not like I really like, I like the truck, don't get me wrong, but the person that made it is very rude and not very friendly. So. But I'd much rather take the 8 foot version because I got my ramps on it from my F-150 and Buck actually respects me for who I am. So, hard to believe, but people don't judge. Most people don't. And the people that do, they're just haters. So, they were off to do some snow plowing. Got to do some res residential lots. You know, let me know in the comments below, guys. Have this has this game helped you decide on like purchasing a real truck? Cause it has for me. Like I'm about to purchase my first F-150. You know, I've worked hard for this truck for about four years, and hopefully I can pick it up this summer once I have all the cash and ready to go. But just like looking at the interior, um, I don't have the uh, sunroof option, but seen it in the other truck and it looks amazing that panoramic sunroof really opens up the truck so let's pull into our first residential lot I'm gonna spin around real quick it's a little tough doing a driveway that just goes up to a fence because you know we can't back drag but we do our best So this is the uh, safe game pulled off the uh, role-playing server. Obviously, this truck is private, so I've just been keeping it to myself. Even though I got all my friends that I play with, but I respect Buck. So look at this big snow drift. So I kind of already did this one, so now I have a better understanding of what I should do. But we kind of go in big scoop mode. Try to pile it up as far as we can, and then we're gonna have to go get dump truck and probably remove the snow eventually, depending on our weather. Because here in the Midwest, we get a lot of snow from time to time. If you watch the uh, Dirt Monkey, there's a lot of snow plowing and stuff up in uh, Minnesota, and they get the snow where I live. We get we get teased with big snowstorms a lot. I always had the uh, running joke, which I guess in reality we are in Tornado Alley, but the way that the river bends, uh, it's like having a big saw blade up into the uh, sky. And each time a tornado comes to us, it just blows up once it gets to Iowa City. I think the closest one we've had was probably Clinton, so that's not too far away, but that's hey, not where I live, so. People claimed at work there used to be one like right on the other side of I-80, but I don't think I ever recall that, especially me not working there. But then that also affects our winter storms. Like, I truly like snow, it's fun. It's gonna be much better once I get a four wheel drive truck, but I still have fun in the Ranger. My first year driving that thing, I had bald ass tires on it, just threw some cinder blocks in the back, and I think I was making it around much better than most people.
But granted, this would be a lot easier with a skid steer because we can go towards the back and swing all the snow out. So this gives me a chance to use this awesome truck. I think I am going to tell him to lower his plow mount just a little bit. This plow does have a lot of travel with the cylinder. But we could probably just readjust that. But it is nice, it doesn't get caught on the uneven surface, but that's pretty far. You can tilt the plow, kind of helps. Just like the Western from HD Modding, it's pretty much built off the same mod. If you guys heard the news, Giants is not currently making another game for FS, which I'm so glad because we put a lot of work into this. 19, you know, the snow plowing is realistic. We literally just got seasons not too long ago, so I'm hoping that Giants takes into account for all the mods that we have put in, maybe start getting licenses. Uh, maybe that's what they're going to work on. Apparently, there's supposed to be some big news coming. I don't know if that was for the Squatch channel exclusively or Giants didn't really say much. But even Spin Tires is getting licenses for, uh, or actually I wouldn't say Spin Tires, I'd say, uh, what is it, a uh, Snow Runner, but it's pretty much based off Spin Tires. So if they can do it, I think everybody else should be able to do it. Like, hopefully the, uh, you know, Chevy, Ford, Dodge, you know, Toyota. Hopefully they know that this game is a game breaker to them selling vehicles. Like vehicle, um, you know, selling vehicles has been down recent years because they're so expensive. But with you know giants and stuff, you can experience the truck. All the modders make the truck realistic. So it's like looking at a vehicle, test driving it, but without the hassle and the insurance that you would need for a teenager to drive one of these trucks. So I think what we're going to do is, and I did this last time in the recording that failed, I just pushed it beyond the fence. Got some speed and that's about all you can do. I don't know if I have access back there. Hopefully you guys check out uh, Satisfied Factory Game. It's a very, very fun game. Um, 
forever ever since that I discovered this game, really, so... Uh, I went through the uh, UPS factory that I built. I have help from Fatboy, which is in our... Which is in my Discord. If you guys don't already know, I have a Discord, finally. So... Thank you to all the people that have helped. Basically motivate me to get a Discord. So yeah, this is a lot of snow. If you guys saw before we uh, plowed this, there were big ripples and oh, this was a lot of snow sitting here. So I feel bad for this neighbor. I'll probably come back and get the dump truck and haul some of the snow out of here. I don't think this customer would be pretty happy about this. So now we're going to do the uh, corresponding driveway across the street. It's Jason to him. So this one got a little bit more room to play around with. Find the edge of the driveway. We did pretty good. All we're going to really do with this one is just wind grow it to the uh, left side, make a big snow bank. Tuck this snow away from the house. See if we can get one big push after we get across the house. I don't think the neighbors will be using their side entrance anyway, so. I'm thinking about starting the lawn care here on the channel probably towards the end of March. Once I get back from Florida, we'll start uh, recording with the group. Obviously, if you look here, I'm going to have to plant grass, which is easy with the landscaping tool. That's some, some big snow drifts. So we'll come back. In a different video, clear that out. I think honestly, let's do one more driveway. This is actually pretty fun. Hope you guys are enjoying the content. Welcome all the subscribers that came from the Rental Bulk Man. Thank you to the Rental Bulk Man for allowing me to be on that episode. I actually really enjoyed being the salesperson. It was a lot of fun. So let's try something different here. Let's put it in a V motion. And maybe we'll kind of just like split it and try to make two piles. And then once we do that, we'll take the snow away from the house. I don't know, let me know in the comments below if you guys know plow on this map what is the best tactic. You don't have to get mean about it, just be nice and civil. I think that's what we all need to work in, including me. I can definitely come and say it before anybody tries to strike me. 
we all just need to be civil about our opinions and what people like to do in this community. I think I definitely agree, agree with Lambo. It's time to man up and you know, we're making content for the kids. We shouldn't be fighting with the same age group as us. You know, we're all older than 13, so, but there is a lot of kids that like to watch our content. So, I try to keep my content fresh. That's why you guys don't see me talking about anything that happened on Facebook, which some things had, but we're gonna man up and we're gonna be different than all those people. Keep the uh, drama uh, adults away from my content and create a safe environment. That's what I do in the Backstreet Boys modding group. It's probably why I give little to no reason why I kick people out there. Matter of fact, you should already know, so I don't put up with bullshit. And I guess I now know there is a lot of children that are in a Lambo Matsu's group, so I'm really removing people out of that group silently without making any pose. And to all the adults that was commenting on his Patreon or giving feedback saying, I don't want to support Punk and Dylan, well here's the deal, bud. You're not you're not supporting me in any way through his Patreon. That's his gig. I'm just the pit bull that watches, oh, I'm just his security guard, so it's no different, um, you know, if I was a security guard for like a famous person, would you say the same thing to, you know, somebody, somebody famous, say, well, I don't like your security guard, so I don't like you, so let's be for real when we say this stuff. You know, Lambo likes to do that kind of stuff, and... I wouldn't want anything that I personally do on the internet to hurt him, and you guys shouldn't blame him. That was all on me, what I said a couple weeks ago, and obviously I took the blame for it, but I should, because it's what I said. Now, should have the guy text me at 6 o'clock in the morning? Oh well, yeah, that's a different story, but that's on him. He, you know, I gave him the option to come in my Discord several times. But you know, he didn't want to man up, so that's on him. You know, we had a really nice talk, me and Lambo, and the uh, Paradise map upload that I did about probably a month ago now. So, if you guys really want to know how we feel about this community, definitely go check that video out. Well, if you guys stay tuned to all the videos, um, we got a lot of plans here. We got the entire town. I should pull over and show you guys what I've been personally doing to the map. I like to do my own little edits. So if we click X, I own all the land because it's uh. But basically, I went into the editor and made it to where these are buyable land. Because the only land you could possibly buy any remotely close was this land right here. But now the animal dealer and the two fire stations are separate for CW since he owns the fire station. So that means all of those businesses over on the Wisconsin side and all these businesses are we're able to plow. We're, we're always able to plow them because. You can always push snow all day long, doesn't matter if you own the property. But blowing snow and picking up snow with a bucket, you have to own the land. So now we're able to move those snow piles like you've seen at the bank. So I hope you guys stick around for those videos. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Just know that if you guys want to know, uh, look at some, see some, some good content, this is the place to go. There's all my trees that I cut down. Surprisingly, they still have the leaves on. When everything else is dead. <laughs> With that, have a great day. Like, comment, subscribe. Always keep me in mind with my video posts. 
it's always going to be a good video, guys. So click, click, click as soon as you've see, seen that uh, notification. Make sure your notifications are on. You won't be disappointed every upload that I put up. I always put quality content versus quantity. So have a good day, guys.